Hello everyone, uh, welcome to the next video. Uh, in this lesson we're going to look at the hierarchy in Unity. So the hierarchy, as we've talked before, is a collection of the, the objects that are in your scene, and your scene is just a level, okay? Um, just before we look at the hierarchy, we're just going to look at how to actually save our scene. To save our scene, all we simply do is press File and Save Scene. Um, for you that have done this for the first time, it'll come up as a dialog box asking you where to exactly uh, save your work. So it's going to go into the Assets folder, which is fine. So I've called mine Test because this is literally just a test level that we're doing. So just call it Test and hit Save. And it'll ask uh, for you to save it. I'm just going to replace mine and I'm going to press Yes. This means that all the work we do in our scene is then saved. So then you can close out of Unity and the next time you come up, you can uh, resume. I'm also just going to remove the grid because we don't really need it anymore. I'm going to click on Gizmos and Show Grid to unhide it, or sorry, to hide it. So, the a beautiful thing with the hierarchy is that it also acts as a hierarchy, as it, as the name suggests. And what a hierarchy is is it's a list of objects or a list in a scene, but it also lets the it also lets you group things together in a hierarchy uh, manner using what's known as the parent-to-child relationship. And what the parent-to-child relationship does is it lets you link objects into a parent so that if a parent object, such as a cube, moves, um, then its children objects will move along with it. So in this example, we're going to use our cube that we made. And we're going to position our light just above it, like so, that we made in the previous lesson. If you got rid of your light, all you need to do is press Game Object, Create Other, and uh, Point Light. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to change this. Uh, actually, we won't change it just yet. I'll just show you how to link this up. To link is pretty easy. You just, in your hierarchy view, click and drag our light bulb, or uh, point light it may be called, or whatever you called it, and just drag it into your, into, your, uh, into your box. And you notice the icon has a little kind of up arrow. This is to let you know that it's going to link into the box. And so what you have now is your box now has an arrow, meaning that it's got sub-objects or children attached to it. And, our, and then if you expand the box, it says that we have the light bulb, which means that the light bulb is now a child of the box. So what happens if we move the light bulb? Not much. You'll be able to move the light the same way as you did before. It won't have any relation to this box. However, if we move the box, you will notice that now the light moves with it. This is great if you have a player and you want to attach a light or a camera or a spotlight, so on and so forth to it. And we're going to be using this quite a lot. We're going to be using groups of objects to kind of organize our scene, our hierarchy view a little easier. Let's look at another example. I'm going to click on the light and we're going to change this from a point light to a spotlight. Okay, and this has created us a spotlight which we can move. And it acts kind of similar to a, like a car headlight or a torch for a game. I'm going to change the intensity a wee bit, like so. And I'm just going to move it onto the onto the box appropriately. This means now that I'm just going to move it this way as well. And I might change the angle as well a wee bit, like that. So now whenever we move our box, our spotlight moves with it. So this could be like a car or a torch that this would be applied to or attached to. Meaning that whenever we move our object, the light moves with it. So really that covers hierarchy. Um, it's the power of moving objects together and grouping things together. Um, later on we'll be using the hierarchy quite a lot to group objects such as static level objects like the plane and uh, kind of directional lights all into one kind of um, one object so that we can move level objects really easy. Uh, things like players and enemies as well. So that covers it for hierarchy. Thank you for watching.